Welcome. In this short video, I'm going to show you a strategy for memorizing polyatomic ions. I know they can be really frustrating for students, but they're a critical part of being able to speak chemistry fluently. So if you learn this phrase, it's going to help you learn over 20 polyatomic ions. So let's get going. When we do this strategy, what we're going to be looking at are key words in a phrase. And in that phrase, our consonants are going to tell us the number of oxygens that are present in the polyatomic ions. So this is for the oxy ones. The vowels are going to help us learn the charge. For this group of polyatomic ions, they are all anions with a negative charge. So a negative ion. So you can kind of see that in the word itself. So let's go forge ahead here and see what our phrase is. So it says, Nick the Brit Camel ate an inch clam and crepes for supper in Phoenix. Let's take a look at what those words tell us. So for Nick, that gives me the N, it gives me the N for nitrate. I have one, two, three consonants, so I have three oxygens. I have one vowel, so I have one negative charge. Brit, that helps me remember bromate. So I've got BR, one, two, three consonants, three oxygens, and one vowel, so one negative charge. Camel is carbonate. Three consonants is three oxygens. Two vowels is a two negative charge. Notice the number technically goes in front of the sign. Eight, that's just to tell us that we're learning the ones that end in eight. Nitrate, bromate, carbonate. Our next one is iodate. Three consonants, one vowel. Chlorate for clam, three consonants gives me three oxygens, one vowel gives me one negative charge. Crepes, this is the one that has, no, there's actually two, that have a metal in them instead of a non-metal. So far, all of our oxy ions have had non-metals in there. This time, it's chromate. I have four consonants and I have two vowels. So that gives me my four oxygens and two negative charge. Probably one of our most common ones, three most common would be nitrate, sulfate, and phosphate. Supper stands for sulfate. I have four consonants, so four oxygens. Two vowels gives me a two negative charge. And finally, in Phoenix. If you're in high school, you think of Phoenix, the English class, but if you're not in high school, think of Phoenix, um, the town. So we've got phosphate. We've got four consonants. One, two, three, four consonants. So four oxygens. This time note that we have one, two, three vowels, and it's the one with the three negative charge. So that's our phrase, and that's how it gives you the information. Let's see, remember I told you you'd learn more than 20. So let's see how it gives us a few more. Now, if you will memorize your eights, so that phrase gives us the eights, there's a pattern that gives us another whole series. If we put the prefix per on it, do you notice that it's one more oxygen but pay close attention, the charge doesn't change. And in fact, the charge doesn't change for this whole series. If it, we change the A to ite, so I would have chlorite instead of chlorate, ite is one less oxygen than our memorized eight. If I go to hypoite, which in this case is hypo, chlorite, you notice that I go down by two oxygens from my memorized eight. And again, the charge is the same. They're all minus one. 
the charges don't change in this series. So memorize the phrase, memorize the pattern, and you'll get over 20 polyatomic ions under your belt. So until I see you again, good luck speaking chemistry.